today on Fail Kitchen, gigantic, enormous, no reason for candy bar, just because. Okay, today I'm supposed to be making a massive, massive candy bar. I will be making a half massive candy bar because when you tell me to buy two packages of Snickers and two bags of caramels and a whole bag of Snickers minis and all of these things, what ends up happening is this. I mean, am I not supposed to eat these? They're in my house. So I don't have 12 Snickers bars. I have eight left. And my kids pretty much ate away at our bag of minis. We've got about a third of a bag here. But we are going to we're going to press forward because uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I've bought these ingredients like three times over and we've eaten them all every time. So it's now or never, guys. Now or never. So we'll just use a slightly smaller container. Half the chocolate, half the butterscotch, and the peanut butter in a pan. And it didn't say double boiler or anything like that, so I'm not going to use a double boiler. Ah, maybe I should use a double boiler, huh? Alright, fine. Why does hot water not burn chocolate, but regular heat does burn chocolate? They act like it doesn't stick in there and you can just pop it right out real easy like, but I know better. Oh! Okay, I knew that metal spoon was gonna get, I knew this metal spoon was gonna get hot if I left it in here. And it did. There are all these little nubs of chocolate still in here. Why? Why did so many of them melt and yet there are these holdouts that, like most chocolate melts at five minutes, but then a third of the chocolate will only melt at 12 minutes? Why? This is so boring. Seriously, there are like five chips in there that will not melt. Butterscotch chips are like, F you, Darlena. This is just so uncomfortable. It's burning my hand with the steam. The spoon is hot. Alright, fine. You know what? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. My hand hurts. And whatever. So you're gonna get, there's some chunks in here. And I don't care. Look at this. Ugh. And we make a Snickers like sandwich and we put that in here. Without burning ourselves somehow? I'm not quite sure how this works. There. This is definitely not going to be big enough. This is ridiculous. Let's do butter. Who knows how much butter? Who cares? How is that even melted caramel? That looks like vegetable soup with bumps. Vegetable soup with bumps? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> now I'm pouring that in the middle. -ish. That looks like the milk. I know, but it's milk with caramel in it. Oh, that's why it's squiggling like milk. I don't know how the um next layer is going to fit. Or, you know, any of the layers after that. Okay, this is supposed to make nougat somehow. Which I've made before with marshmallow stuff. Oopsie. And then I've promptly burned it to the bottom of my pan. Alright. So I'm not doing the last layer of chocolate. And you can't really go wrong with all of this sugar in a meatloaf pan. This is overflowing. There's no chocolate layer. I just ran out of room. I misjudge how big, apparently, big is. It still feels sticky. I don't know how long I was supposed to freeze it. I could have been like two hours, I think. Ah, sticking to the everything. Oh, come on. Are serious? I definitely used the wrong kind of paper. I shouldn't have used wax paper because wax paper doesn't seem to give a shit. For serious? I feel like if I make a 15 pound candy bar, I want to. I want to eat that shit. Looks like there's way too much peanut butter chocolate here, and the, the nougat and marshmallow didn't really work out at all. I wish I still had my Snickers bars. Yeah.